In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to run the Y sale passing concept out of the normal Y off close in the Washington offensive playbook in Madden 23. If you guys wanna get my entire normal Y off close or my air raid offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is in the description down below. It's only $10 to become a member and it's gonna get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including our air raid stuff. And normal Y off close, I think is one of the best versions of the air raid. So let's talk about Y sale. What is it? Why is it helpful and how do you run it? Why sale is a concept where we're basically going to be working off of some tendencies. Uh, air raid is pretty much a, a lot of crossing routes, right? Shallow cross, slant post concept, um, mesh is a lot of crossing routes. What Y sale is, is it's a sale rounded, rounded corner, rounded out route, if you will. There's different dimensions, different levels of this. There's different depths of which this can be ran. But generally speaking, what it what it accomplishes is we're going to basically almost flood a sideline um, as opposed to run crossing routes. That's basically, in a nutshell, why I think Y sale exists. And the purpose of it is so that um, they can't just sit on our crossing route patterns. Once we start to, once they start to come inside and, and try to get help inside, now we're going to attack them with a rounded corner or rounded out route to the outside. So how do you run it? What's the concept actually look like? What I like to do at a normal Y clock, while well, close is we're just going to simply zig the left side of the slot receiver. So this becomes now a quick snappable play. What do I mean by a quick snappable play? Quick snap plays are one hot route or less, and then you can snap the ball. That's what we're able to accomplish with this play right here. And what you're going to notice is this corner route is going to be pretty decent against man coverage. I like to put short out or I'm sorry, short in elite on the uh, tight end that's going to help him get a little bit better separation uh, specifically against man coverage now herman moore also has short and elite and we have that backside route for man now i will say why sale one of the vulnerabilities of it is if they can stop the corner route in man coverage like let's say for example that we put a safety over top or maybe they just have a really good man coverage player on that side this can be a little vulnerable against that because all they have to do is basically use the in route but if this corner route can beat man coverage all of a sudden this becomes one of the best plays in madden because this specific corner route out of y sale is not only good against man coverage but it's also good against every type of zone you could possibly think of i'll show you something interesting with zone in just a second but i want to show you the basic concept against zone what you're going to notice here is this route to the tight end is going to basically flood zones to the sideline just like that now what you can do and, and really like i said the power of this corner route is there's not a better zone beater in the game and i'm going to show you why number one it's a flood concept to the sideline uh so that means it's going to actually occur faster than like a general like y cross concept would y cross takes some time this concept it can actually get to the sideline relatively quickly now it still takes a little bit of time but what you're going to notice here is i'm going to run a double mabel defense and you saw that i just put a 30 yard cloud on the field what you'll notice against this 30 yard cloud is that this corner route if you have time has has basic potential here if i highball it to actually get over the top of that deep cloud flat and get kind of into um, a soft spot against the zone coverage. So if they're playing that double Mabel coverage where they're dropping eight people, um, which is actually, I think, the primary way people like to play zone this year, if they're not going to send pressure, is they're going to do something like this. All you're going to do is you're going to freeform this upfield and you're going to possession catch it to keep it away from that safety. So as you can see right there, this becomes one of the best flood concepts against zone coverage in the entire game and basically what your opponent is going to start doing is when they see that you're going to this concept they're going to say okay i have to go guard the tight end because zone coverage literally won't stop it if that's the case if they go guard the tight end now what you're going to see is that this little whip and in route will work together to attack both the short flat on the left side and the middle of the field if the user gets pulled out of the middle of the field uh, to go guard the corner now the one thing that i do want to share with you about this play as it pertains to match coverage um, is actually i think semi-important match coverage actually is not terrible against this concept i'm going to show you why so a couple things that match coverage benefits is whenever you have a compression formation to the running back side match coverage is going to play box check right um, now i'm not talking about bunch i'm talking about tight in this example it's a two by two compression so we're going to get a box check 
over here on the right side. Now what happens though is you can actually throw this fade if they don't have deep out zone knockout. So what you what you just saw right there is this back this corner back uh, here, Mike Haynes, he came off of that and went and guarded the tight end. Now you could have thrown the tight end right here, but if you wait too long, you can't throw the tight end, as you can see. Now, there's some simple things that we can actually do to make it so that this tight end is going to be a little bit more open. One of them is to take more and just put him on a motion, uh, or not a motion slant, but basically bring him across. So you can bring one of these receivers. Let me see what Thomas goes inside. Um, actually, I guess you can't do that out of this formation, which is fine. Um, but basically, what you'll see here, back to the original concept, is if I throw this corner out right there and ag it, I can actually catch that against match coverage. Now, most people aren't going to run match coverage. One way they will run match coverage, though, if, if they know what they're doing against this formation, they're going to do something like this, uh, which is to put this deep half there on the right side because they're maybe concerned about getting bombed or whatever. If they do something like that, you'll notice here that now this guy is wide open if they adjust their match coverage in any way, shape, or form. So you're either going to have your corner out or um, another thing that you can potentially have is what I was trying to show you a second ago, where if they just run standard quarters, this fade, if you highball and pass lead it outside, you can sometimes get it over the top of that, of that player. So again, just something to know uh, for match coverage. Match coverage does the best at stopping this concept on in terms of that right there but if you can f get this ball like I said something like that right where he gets it way outside on that on that fade you could throw that or if you just throw the corner out early um a lot of times that will work as well another thing that is interesting is press man-to-man -man coverage against match you see how it does that little missile line again get that up and over the top and you can have a potential can, uh, chance to have a one-on-one. -on -one. It doesn't mean you're going to catch it all the time, especially if they have KOs, but it is an option uh, for you on this play. Now, that leads me to my next thing, which is if they are truly running match, your backside dig route is going to be your best friend. Your backside dig route is hard to guard in match coverage, and then if they're guarding you, um, if they're playing hard flats out of their match coverage, this little pivot route right there is a snap read is really good as well. Why sale accomplishes a lot of things and funnels the defense into having to do very specific things that is going to make it harder, make their life harder uh, defensively. So if you can master the why sale concept, it's going to force your opponent to have to either run match coverage or in this example, they're going to have to really defend the sideline on that right side, which is then going to open up your wide cross play, which is heavily devoted to the sideline on the left side. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to learn more about the air raid offense, make sure that you join the Patreon on. The link is down in the description below. $10 gets you full access to all of our ebooks and updates. Thanks for watching and make sure to head down to the description and go check out the Patreon page.